4.5 inch multiple rocket launcher T-66. Light and mobile, it can be moved along as fast as its one and one half ton prime mover can tow it. A rocket crew generally consists of a chief of section, a gunner, two rocketeers and a driver. An ideal weapon for long range fire against area targets, the T-66 is best positioned behind the crest of a hill to avoid detection of its rocket blast. The tarpaulin is also useful as an ammunition cover. Tilting the rocket launcher forward facilitates lowering of the pedestal and locking into firing position. Once this is done, the trails are lowered to the ground and spread. The 24 tube launcher can be elevated from zero to 45 degrees. The traversing wheel will move the tube cluster 10 degrees to either side. Firing equipment in an accessory box consists of blasting machine, firing switch, and a firing cable. Unwinding the firing cable from its reel for connection to the blasting machine after the launcher is loaded. The blasting machine and crew must be 15 paces to either flank for safety. The sight for the launcher fits into a bracket on the tube cluster. It consists of the elevation quadrant T13, and an elbow telescope M62. Spin stabilized rockets, which impact with limited dispersion, account for greatly increased destructive effect and the superior accuracy of the T-66. Maximum as well as effective range is about 5,200 yards. Old type fin stabilized rocket. It's been substantiated that the fins have not completely succeeded in keeping the rockets to their course. The shell body containing the bursting charge for the spin stabilized rocket. This burster tube fits into the center of the rocket. The propelling charge consists of 30 sticks of special rocket powder. It is ignited by a black powder charge contained in a plastic tube. The black powder in turn is set off by an electric squib. Current is carried to the squib by these wires. When the propelling charge is inside the motor body, the two wires extend through one of the eight nozzles on the back end of the round. Each nozzle is set at an angle so that when gas is blown out during flight, a spinning motion is achieved. Safe temperature limits for firing the spin stabilized rocket. Each live rocket has a safety shorting strip across the contact ring and the motor body. This metal band prevents stray currents from igniting the squib. Loading procedure. Before each round is placed in the launcher, the safety shorting strip must be removed. Failure to do so will result in a misfire. The launcher is muzzle loaded. More detailed technical information embodying all components and employment of the T-66 is available in Film Bulletin 206. Once the loading is completed, final adjustments are made by the gunner before removing the sight. All personnel get clear of the blast area. Then the end of the firing cable is connected to the terminals of the blasting machine. The 24 rounds are ripple fired in rapid succession. In a hypothetical tactical situation, 288 rounds necessary to demolish an area target might require four battalions of 105s consisting of 48 howitzers and approximately 2,000 men. This same concentration could be delivered by only one battery of 12 T-66 launchers with about 120 men. The artillery fire would take about 60 seconds. The rocket launchers only 15 seconds. <laughs> 